Hello, I'm Keetron Evans, and I'm going to show you advanced adversary tactics with defense evasion. Now, this lab is very, very cool, and it's very, very, uh, got a lot of learning points to it because you'll be modifying PAM modules to allow for backdoor passwords to be done, and you'll also be attacking and disabling antivirus so that you can avoid detection while you're planning malware and that type of thing. Now, I wanna just kinda introduce you to this lab with the encouragement and hope that you will actually go over, uh, jump into the range yourself right now and take a look at it and work through it. So let's jump right into it. All right. So as you can see, as is the case with most of our labs, it starts right up. One of the things I do want to remind you about is all of our labs are mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework, and this one maps to evasion and several other things that are related or fall into the one of the categories in the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So from an introduction standpoint here, it tells us this lab will take a look at a few uh, assorted methods for defense evasion. The first method prevented here is exploration or exploitation for defense evasion that is exploring a service to either take it down or take control in order to avoid you know, us being detected. Now our target server, it gives us the IP address here. It's located at this IP and it says to get started, open the terminal and start Metasploit by running the following command. Another thing I want to point out too is these also map to the NICE framework nicely no pun intended, but it allows you to make sure that you're getting the, the knowledge, skills, and abilities that you need to map up to specific job roles. So we're gonna go ahead and do what it says and start up Metasploit here. And I'm just copying and pasting the command. And as you can see, it gives us the green check mark. And as you know, that means we did it successfully. And now we're waiting for the terminal to show us that Metasploit is successfully started. And there it is. So we're good to go on that front. And let me just drag this out a little bit. As you can see, this is a full uh, environment. It's not a fake uh, automation of the environment, a simulation of the environment, because you can control the environment variables and things like you would in a real environment. So that's one of the things that we uh, like about the way we did this and put it together. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead to the next step. And it says, now we're gonna load an exploit. So here you're just loading this clam AV exploit in Metasploit. And we simply do that by using the use command in Metasploit. Okay, so now we've loaded that exploit. The way you think it is, think of when you pick an exploit in Metasploit, that's like picking a missile. That's a specific form factor because it's going to uh, penetrate or break into a machine or a service because of its form. So this missile that we just loaded here, this clam AV missile, it's constructed specifically to exploit a specific service or a specific type of operating system. Next, we're going to um, basically start the target or set the target by setting the R host. Now, you can get the IP of the target by inspecting the contents of the Etsy host file. So we can actually read that. You can open another terminal and read that, or you can just literally type it from right here. So we can do cat Etsy host. And you can read it right from the Metasploit terminal there. You don't have to actually go out and open another. So it says here, we're looking for the target. So we look at the IP addresses here and we can see the target is 172.20.25.108. All right, so before you know running the exploit for real, we'll want to make sure the clam AV is actually running on a remote server. And you can do that by setting the action uh, to version and then running the exploit. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and set the R host. Now it says target IP, which means that we have to set our host. And then we put in what we have listed here is our target IP, which is 172.20.25 and uh, 108, okay? So we've set that variable properly. And then it tells us to go ahead and set the action to version. So I'm gonna copy and paste that. And I'm trying to show you here that you have the option if you want to get practice with your chops, you can type the commands out. Or if you're just trying to get through and get the learning objective done, you can copy and paste most of the commands in this environment. We're then gonna go ahead and do run. And that runs the exploit. It says it's 100% complete. So to move on to the next step, 
we need to write the version to the temp version file because we ran the exploit, but we didn't actually exploit anything. We just did a command, did the, we ran kind of like a checker of the exploit to collect the version of the clam AV that's running. And it says to get that, we need to echo the version information to a temp file. So we're gonna write the version information in there now. And we get that version information from right here. So that's gonna be 0.103.2, right? And that's all it's asking us to put in for now. And we write that the temp version. And as you can see, once we successfully did that, it gives us the green check mark, and then we can move on to the next step. Now in this step, it says, great, we've confirmed that the Clam AV is running and vulnerable. Next, let's take down the Clam AV service, set the action to shut down and run the exploit again. Lastly, switch the action back to version to confirm the Clam AV service is no longer responding. So what we can do is we now set the action to shut down. So, Cause what we're trying to do now, we know the version, we verified that, and now we're trying to actually attack the AV and do something to it. Remember the whole goal here is to shut the antivirus down so that if we were to deploy some malware or something like that, there's nothing there to detect that. So now we go ahead and do run to run the exploit again, and it says it looks like it successfully shut it down. And we wanna verify it's not lying to us. So now we could actually do a couple of things. One is we could set the action back to version, right? And setting it back to version, we can see if it's still running because if it's running, it'll give us a version printout. If it's not running, it won't respond to that version request anymore. So we set it back to version and we run it again and we can see that it does not give us a version back which tells us that it's probably not running. Now, if you wanna verify this, we can run this nmap command. And again, you can run nmap right from within the terminal in Kali here. You don't need to go out and open another terminal. We run that and you can see that that clam AV port is no longer open. So now you've actually set yourself up to where you could drop anything that you wanted on that victim and all the malware, the anti-malware, in this case, the clam AV that they're using is not going to be able to detect your malware because it's not running. And this is one of the key ways that we in the pen testing world and the APTs do evasion. So I'm going to stop it right there. I want you to jump over and jump into this lab, see if you can do what I just did, but go on and see if you can do the other exercises as well. They're just as fun and just as rewarding as what you saw me do there. Hopefully you enjoyed this session. So do me a favor, go jump over right now, go to infosecinstitute.com slash range and jump in and play around with this and do what I just did and let us know how it went for you. Thanks for watching.